you all well today we are here at Halen Island normally we do one place but we have been asked or requested to come to Halen Island to see what they have on offer I got an email asking what was here what it's like and to be fair I haven't been here before I don't know what's here so the best way to find out for you guys is doing a bit of research and then coming to visit to see how disabled friendly Halen Island is and what they have to offer I did manage to email a couple of people before coming along um, one of the places that did get back to me was Halen Seaside Railway which we'll be popping along to in a minute um, to do a vlog about them and we have a couple of others up our sleeve which I'm not going to share just yet as I'm going to share as we go so let's go and see what Halen Island has to offer let's go Halen Island Seaside Railway as you can see um, and we will be going on the train in a minute well we've got about 10 minutes to wait Halen Seaside Railway offers a delightful two mile return journey on a charming narrow gauge light railway the train runs every weekend and Wednesdays throughout the year daily during the school holidays weather permitting trains continue to run every 45 minutes during the summer months. Trains continue to run every 45 minutes during the summer months, but please ring to confirm they're running if you're coming quite far from afar to make sure it is all working. All trains run subject to demand and the weather and the daylight as well. So in the winter, it'll times may change they are disabled friendly you can get a wheelchair on and if you're in a larger wheelchair they have a carriage where they can move the seats so that you can wheel in and turn around so you get a good view which I thought was quite a nice little touch Haley and Island pride themselves on being accessible to everyone which will be lovely to share with you all and what to expect when visiting because of covid19 they can only carry people from east stoke this so that they're able to clean the train afterwards after each ride when they come back i will leave all their opening times their links everything about these guys uh down below and on my website so you can contact them I'd also like to say that all volunteers here and they also do Christmas here as well which starts at the end of November through December up to Christmas which I do believe is every weekend because of Covid but the last week of Christmas they are going to try and do daily Christmas Father Christmas says so again check the website to see what's happening there uh, while we are here, we'll also be sharing Halen Island Beach and show you around Halen Island World War II Heritage Trail and the COPP Memorial. So let's go and see what we can find. Hi, we have stopped here and we are at the Simha Heavy Anti Aircraft Battery which is a historical site and point of interest and part of Halen Island's World War II Heritage Trail which you can follow their signs all the way along. The heavy anti-aircraft has been memorial is the six gunners that died defending the Portmouth area from heavy air raid that took place in April 1941. The men belong to the 219th Battle Battery, 57th Heavy Anti-Aircraft Regiment, that manned the two 5.7-inch guns based there. 
The names of the gunners can be seen on a plaque on the wall inside of the remaining emplacements, which we will show you now. So come on and we'll go and have a look. So my scripts changed a little bit. So we wasn't going to be allowed in because uh, it was too short notice for my fault completely. But we were lucky and came at the end of the day and we were allowed to come in and say hello to beautiful animals. So I want to give you a little bit of a story about these guys. So Donkey Sentry, they originally started by buying two donkeys, Ollie and Rusty who we've taken lots of photos of, don't worry, who were giving rise to children on Halion Island seafront and they soon became part of the family. They continued to traditionally uh, going along and adding many other services. They have learned that donkeys give loads of love, lots of love, and they give you all their trust and they just trust in you and believe in you. The Donkey Sanctuary believe they deserve a comfortable, safe home and quality care and affection for the rest of their lives. And they are developing such a place here at Halion Island. They are also doing amazing work and you, the public, are allowed to come along and visit to say hello and help donate or you can buy a bale of hay which is five pounds and it gets bought to a donkey suite you can adopt a donkey um, there's loads of things you can do and you can also fund a fence where you can put plaques up um, of the donkeys that are no longer here with us hello see lots of donkeys um, Yes, so you can adopt a donkey, loads of stuff. The aim, which is quoted from the website, is to give any donkey in our care a happy long life home, whilst providing for their daily needs and tenderness, understanding and affection. Develop and improve our facilities. Sorry, just making sure. Um, facilities for donkeys welfare and in a way that gives people the chance to come and visit them enjoy the don donkeys company along with an opportunity of getting involved they also take the donkeys to visit people with disabilities as a therapy which is amazing and very therapeutic and loving animals and they are only a small charity but the work they are doing is truly amazing and if you can help in any way please do because they're very tiny but so effective the work they're doing they're doing amazing work here and trying to help other people as well so we would like to say a massive thank you for letting us come along today um, and coming inside which was amazing thank you to all the volunteers and the owners for talking to us and just giving us this opportunity to come in, say hello and show what they're about. It's amazing. Love it. It's the best ending of a day you could ask for. Loads of donkeys. See? Donkeys. I wouldn't mind taking one home but I don't think the doggies will like it. Okay. So we're going to end it there and do a little film of the donkeys. Um, also, before I go, it is disabled accessible, wheelchairs could get down here, the flooring is a bit stony, you could get down here. Um, the point is that you get to see the donkeys. If you can't, for some reason, get down their little path, which I personally think you would be able to, they'll bring the donkey to you, so you can have one to one with a donkey. How amazing is that? It's brilliant. So. They do everything they can to make your visit as enjoyable as 
they possibly can. And there we go, more friends now. See, they all come and say hello. So I'm going to leave, uh, leave you alone and let you watch the uh, donkeys because they're beautiful. something here for everyone. There are a few places to stay here for a holiday or stay in the night in one of the hotels or B&Bs or holiday parks. As I said we have only shown a little of what Halen Island has to offer so please be mindful that if you decide to visit and there's a particular place that you'd like to visit make sure that you check their website um, and see if you need to book in advance that's really important always check websites we you know it's like with covid at the minute okay. we hope that when you visit you enjoy everything Hayley Island has to offer and maybe share with us what you got up to on your visit and also sharing with us we'll also be sharing with all our followers what they've uh, what you've seen as well so I'd like to say a big thank you for joining Rara's Ventures today and if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any more videos vlogs or posts that are coming out um, we hope you enjoyed uh, your visit as much as we did and we look forward to seeing you soon with Rara's Ventures. Okay, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye!